everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, let me share what is on my nails because I know I'm gonna get asked. This is a brown gel polish from Gelish. It's called Want to Cuddle. I actually used this in my most recent live manicure with me. If you didn't know, I host a live manicure on YouTube once a month. So if you like to paint your nails at home, be sure to stay tuned for the 2022 schedule, which I'm gonna be putting out soon. Today, I'm gonna be sharing a quick hair tutorial with you. As you know, I recently chopped my hair and anytime you change up your look, there is a little bit of getting used to when it comes to styling. I would say for the day-to-day, -day, I'm more apt to straighten my hair. It's just quicker, easier, and I don't mind that look, but something about this short, full head of curls is like my absolute favorite. I love the short curls. I just think it's fun and playful and sexy. It's just one of the styles that I really like to rock every other week or so. This will last me a couple of days. I find that anytime I curl my hair, it holds up a lot better than if I straighten it, so a little dry shampoo goes a long way with curls, but I'm gonna show you quickly today how I style this. This is most certainly not natural volume, but there are a couple things you can do to make it look bigger and fuller and super voluminous and I'm gonna share it with you today. So without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. All right, so we're gonna start with freshly washed and dried hair. There's no product in this yet, but I'm gonna go ahead, plug in my one inch curling iron. This one is from Ion. I'm gonna turn it on to about 350 degrees. I don't wanna go too hot and I don't wanna go too low. Then I'm gonna take my Chi Vibes Know It All heat protectant, shake it up and spray it all over my hair. We have got to protect the hair before we put a hot tool on it. This is like non-negotiable. Um, just spritzing this all over and then I'm going to take a brush and just lightly brush through it so that we can disperse the product and get out any knots that may have formed. From here I'm going to take a small little claw clip and clip up the top half of my hair so that we can begin curling on the bottom. I'm going to take about a one inch piece section, grab my curling iron and clamp it around the hair. Now when I clamp it and turn it, I want to try to leave out about a one inch piece at the end, maybe a little longer, just to create like a really loose natural looking wave. So after I curl, they're going to be kind of like tendrils. They're going to be pretty curly cue, um, but we are going to brush them out at the end. Um, but I'm just going to do this around my entire head. The pieces in the front, I want to curl away from my face, but then I don't really mind alternating the curl pattern throughout the rest of the head. Curling in different directions gives it that really full look that we're going for, and it mixes it up. So I'm just going to continue this around the bottom of the head, and then I'm going to begin pulling down pieces from the top, and then I'm going to come back once we're at the very, very top to show you how I style those pieces. top pieces, this is where things get a little different. So I'm going to take a top piece and I'm going to curl it in the opposite direction of where I want it to fall so that it's going to create a little volume when I flip it back over. So as you see here, this hair I want on the left side of my head, but I'm curling it towards the right and then flipping it over. On this side, I want it to hang on my right side, but I'm curling it towards the left and then flipping it back over. So this is a great little trick to build a little volume on finer and more flat hair. I'm gonna do this on all of my top pieces to round out the look. And as you can see, I'm using the iron as a wand right here. I'm not clamping these front pieces. I think it's just a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner when styling the front. Once all the hair has been curled, we're gonna flip it over, shake it out, kind of run our fingers through it to break up those curls. We don't want a super structured look. And then I'm gonna grab some dry shampoo. This is the Not Your Mother's Pump, Pump or Plump for Joy. And I'm just gonna spray this all over my head. It's gonna give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of body, work it in with my fingers. And then from here, I am going to take my teasing comb, section off just a couple of areas on each side and in the back and lightly tease them to give just a hint of volume. My guiltiest pleasure is teasing my hair. I probably shouldn't do it as much as I do, but a little bit goes a really long way. Once I'm done teasing, I'm gonna take a little bit of this hair oil from Whey. I love this stuff, it smells so good, but you can use any oil. It's just great to add to the ends, soften the curls, give them a little bit of shine, work that through. 
From there, I'm going to take the Living Proof Instant Defrizz, spritz this all over as well. It's going to help tame any frizzies. And then grab some hairspray. This is the Chi Better Together. I love this stuff. It's just the prettiest bottle. Also, Better Together was our wedding song by Luke Combs, so I love this line. Um, I'm just going to spritz this all over to set the look. And then this little trick is fun. You're just going to grab a piece of hair and kind of slide it up to create a messier, more voluminous look here. Um, it's a fun little hack that I recently picked up and it makes a big difference. So tweak it as you like and that's pretty much it. Brush through it, um, put the part to your liking and you are good to go. And that is it. That is how I style my short hair in this fun, flirty, fabulous, very full curly look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you picked up a tip or two from it. I really love how it turned out. If you have any of your own tips for styling shorter hair, send them my way. Also send me any of your go-to hairstyles for short hair. I've been trying to experiment with some new looks that I've never worn before. I really do like the half top knot. I think French braids are very cute. You know, the half up, half down. The ponytails are adorable when your hair is short because you get like little hair falling in the back and then they're like really spiky up top. I don't know, I wanna try something new. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them. I would love to check them out. But that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.